daytime daytime in summer solstice uh, at northern hemisphere I check out this with AI. Uh, it gives about the uh, summer solstice in Northern Hemisphere, typical of around the June 20, 21st. It marks the longest day of the year, and they are the most daylight and southeast tonight. So, keep on about the uh, during the summer solstice in Northern Hemisphere, long day there. At the uh, repeat, the light lasts about 12 hours. And then uh, in New York City, the light lasts uh, about 15 hours. And daylight, and then in Stockholm, daylight uh, lasts 18 hours. And above Arctic area, the location will experience 24 hours of daylight, known as the mid midnight sun. Midnight sun. Uh, so in the past, during the summer solstice, the sun reaches its highest point in the sky at noon, direct talk of 23 in the Tropic of Cancer. This little is sun shaking and on the longest path through the sky to complete the new descent a lot of our uh, solar declination. Solar declination on some of the sequence of the meaning the sun at its northern uh, most point relative in the southern shell equation. Two light period. Two light period hours extended in higher latitude. This means a longer period of dust can down and, and where, where, where the sky is illuminated even when the sun is below the horizon. Twilight period. Sunrise and sunset and twilight period is also daytime is about the sun and the rain. Uh, let's see. Twilight period in summer solstice at Northern Hemisphere. This is also important. In, uh, actually, uh, the life cycle in in uh, human and we have here. This this is uh, very important. In terms of uh, the geography and latitude and uh, daylight and phenomenon of in on the planet, and we figure out and um, how know about that, especially best weather in the world. How can I figure out? I uh, how I know about this, and uh, knowing about this is a little bit different view and. Twilight during the summer solstice in Northern Hemisphere is characterized by extended period of light, depression, light, and sense of twilight occur in three stages, civil, logical, and astronomical. These stages depend on the uh, position of sun to the horizon. Stage of twilight, civil twilight, definition the sun is 0 to 60 below the horizon. 6 to 5, uh, 0 to Six below the horizon. Um, characteristic is there is enough natural light for most outdoor activity. Free light might be unnecessary. Free light might be unnecessary. And then the example uh, in middle last region like New York City, civil light uh, might last about 30, 40 minutes after sunset before sunlight uh, during the summer solstice. That means uh, about more than two hours adding about the process about the civil fire. Uh, 
no different prior. Definition the sun is 6 to 12 below the horizon. The horizon is still visible at sea, making possible for sailors to take navigation on reading the bright star and then planet it become visible. Example, nautical twilight lasts long than civil twilight, about 4 to 60 minutes in middle latitude during the summer solstices. Middle latitude during the summer solstices. Okay, all stormy twilight, definition 12 to 18 degree uh, below the plane. Characteristic sky is dark enough for astronomers to observe celestial objects, but there is still some light. And the example was from the twilight and then last about 60, 70 minutes in a middle latitude and during the summer solstice. Our left and arc circle, over the arctic circle between the summer solstice region experienced the phenomenon known as the mid sun. In night sun, where the sun does uh, not set at all, this means that there is no true twilight. And it remains daylight for 24 hours near the Arctic area circle. The region close to the Arctic circle is created by a long twilight period. Even if the sun does set its face just to below the horizon, within a prolonged twilight that can last several hours. Example location. Um, Lejavik Island. Post the Arctic Rejavik between about almost 24 hours of daylight. While I feel that when similar into daylight, it will only be lived in the intestinal condition. Circle of Sweden experience uh, long civil logical twilight period and with the astronomic twilight lasting almost through the entire night. And New York City. Um, you just print the existing twilight stage is less than about around 37 minutes with a total darkness for a few hours. Visual representation. In location with extreme light, the distinct between twilight phase and uh, blood making for long, mingling light condition. Make a table or graph uh, about daytime in some solstice and northern hemisphere with the main cities, capital city in main countries. I can get a more detail about this uh, with this. Here's table summarize the uh, daytime duration during the summer solstice in various capital cities across the northern hemisphere. 21 hours, Iceland, Reykjavik, daylight duration. Almost daylight duration and twilight duration is more than two hours. So, and then uh, goes to almost, uh, yeah. Mm. 24 hours. Oslo, 18, 5 hours. It means 5.5 uh, hours only night time. Daylight, daytime, night time. Daytime, uh, daytime. And then uh, Helsinki, Finland, 19 hours. Stockholm, Moscow, 17.5 hours. That means it's uh, 6.5 and then night time. Very much 6.5. London, Paris, 16. Warsaw, Poland, 16 point. And then Beijing, uh, 15 hours. Tokyo, 14.5 hours. Maybe Seoul also with the same with Tokyo. And then uh, this is about and usually Tehran, Tehran, 
Boston. Yeah, exactly. Mexico City, um, Iliad, almost same. Jerusalem, 30, 14, 5. Climate uh, of same daytime in summer solstice uh, and northern hemisphere. I, I try to use about this uh, in terms of understanding about the, our planet to know about uh, and um, sun energy and geography. Some this is uh, my so by doing that and uh, maybe understand more of the planet to experience the same amount of daylight twice in northern hemisphere during the sun sources. One only need to be at comparable latitude in southern hemisphere during its winter solstice. There is a comparison of climate condition both hemispheres during those times. Northern hemisphere summer solstice. Daylight, longest day of the year duration, varying based on latitude. And temperature, generally warm to hot temperature to vary, varying from mild in northern latitude to very hot in lower altitude. latitude. Northern latitude uh, weather, typically dry and sunny weather in many regions, leading to clear sky and extended outdoor activities. Southern hemisphere winter solstice uh, is a uh, robust one. Daylight, shortest day of the year, with duration very similarly to the northern hemisphere, but after in the crack, 24 hours dark near the Antarctic Earth. Temperature generally cooler and cold temperature depending on latitude and latitude. Weather, virus region, tropical region, and then um, mild with dry weather. And then medium latitude cold with a possible snow with the high, high elevation, high rather very cold and with the snow and ice, especially near the Antarctic surface. Example of city and climate condition. Comparison, if you were compare the climate city experience, similar daylight duration. It was up in northern times during some sorties, 20 miles daylight. Usha, Arantia, and Alfred will in Chile in southern times during winter sorties, shortest day. Um, there was up during some of this daylight uh, uh, 21, 24, around 7 and 8. Uh, mild food temperature typically around 10, 15 during the day. Usha, 7 and 0 to minus 5 degree during 7, 8 hours daylight. Usha, Usha. During one source, it's Climate impact and variability impact. The duration of daylight significantly affect temperature, oil pattern in both the hemisphere, visibility location factors such as ocean current, elevation, and proximity of water body, and also influence climate condition. This comparison shows how the amount of daylight to do resources to impact climate and weather. Typhoon in West Pacific, Pacific Ocean in summer solstice, solstice uh, and in the Northern Hemisphere after summer solstice. solstice.
Python also known as the hurricane Python depending on release on the power of tropical storm, character by low pressure center strong in the air occurring and the behavior we can vary depending on time of year and the hemisphere they open. Western possible type and during summer solstice, northern hemisphere. Summer solstice around June 21st, located northern hemisphere, particularly in Western Pacific Asian. And typically activity during the summer solstice, the West Pacific is entering its typical cyclone season, which officially begin in May and extend to the summer months as characteristic. Um, typhoon during this time can be intense due to the warm sea surface temperature, have over atmospheric condition including low wind shear impact. This storm can bring heavy rains, strong winds, storm surge, and widespread damage to coastal region along in East Asia, Southeast Asia, and then sometimes extend to into Philippines and Taiwan. Northern Hemisphere after summer so this uh, late June or for some so this late June and beyond uh, location. Um, Northern Hemisphere including regions such as the Western Pacific, North Pacific near Japan, sometimes the North Atlantic. Typical activity type from activity continuing summer months, but may shift in tense and location. Characteristic while the peak intensity of Typhoon in Western Pacific of often up around August and September. Storm can see on an impact coastal area with a significant arrival and the winds. In fact, as the season for the typhoon typhoon may affect additional area and very intensity to potential causing crawling and slide and infrastructure damage. Climate influence and variability. Ocean, ocean temperature, warm, uh, sea surface temperature, fuel type and development with the warmer water typically observed during and after the summer surface. Atmospheric condition and favorable condition to the low wind shear and high humidity level, which contribute to the formation and strengthens of typhoon. Regional difference. Typhoon in the western possibly can have different characters compared to hurricane in the Atlantic cyclone in the Indian Ocean, influenced by local geography and climate pattern. The time of typhoon occur in the western possibly during and after summer solstice to reflect the seasonal variety of tropical cyclones affecting the northern hemisphere. Understanding these pattern has community prepared on the sun to impact of this powerful storm throughout the year. Okay, and I review about this, some um, about daytime summer sources. And this is a very important part, and then uh, this is uh, the same about the duration of the night time. So, and then this uh, is tech and then moving. So, Make a table about the uh, change of daytime every day after summer solstice in the main city, Northern Hemisphere. A day about the change of daytime. Make a table for good. And then more than uh, 20 cities, if possible. <clears throat> wow. Here's the table showing the change in daytime duration for various cities in the northern hemisphere in the days following the summer solstice around June 21st. Change in the light is gradually decreased as the days shorten after the solstice. 
and the react along the bottom limit, changing daylight is the uh, daylight duration on the July 1st, June 21st, 21, and about 4, 15. Uh, okay. Three minutes or slow. Helsinki, four minutes. Stockholm, four minutes. Moscow, three minutes. Berlin, London, Paris, and uh, Warsaw. Two minutes, Beijing, Tokyo, about two minutes. And you, oh my God, it's a uh, result is alone. The, the stuff is very weird. The result did me that. How can I make it this? Not that one. By the number of static is not good about this but it's uh anyway um depending the amount of daylight in hours and minutes changing the light in day the daily reduction in minute of daylight after sun so this table demonstrates how the duration of daylight gradually decreases in northern hemisphere city along some subject at the short a start and the shop and the changes are relatively minor each day, but over time they accumulate less speed. Mm. Why? Is the June first, ah, uh, July first, not reduced, and even they are same or increased, and after uh, the daytime difference, some this table is correct or not? Um, AI try to do that again. Upload for any conclusion code. The table I provide earlier contained an accuracy regarding the change in daylight rate after some of the city. Daylight rate energy decrease uh, gradually after some of the This change is more apparent at higher rate. That's correct and provide an accurate representation. Here's a device table showing the approximate daylight duration of our country. Daylight reduce. No change, even no change. Oh, Plus one. Oh, yeah, then. 